On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The line of scrimmage is the two here on third and goal. Back to throw. Goddard. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. Touchdown! Noah Fant, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers have taken the lead here in this third quarter. Well, down in this part of the field, CD, they love to get him the football, and right there, a little pitch and catch for the score. Yeah, and he's such a weapon when it's that close to the end zone, and they love being able to rely on him to make those kind of catches. Talk about trust, talk about confidence, and he produces. A try here for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it's Noah Fant who caps things off with the touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. On second down now, it's Stanley. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. From the gun on third down. Rich flushed out right. They juked him. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Three quarters have come and gone. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. They'll run on first down. It's Stanley. It's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. That's a 12-yard gain now on back-to-back -back plays. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Looking to throw. Rich. Throw over the middle, going to be caught here by Pitts. On second down. It's Stanley, and he gets it down to the 32. 68 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Stanley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Partner, one thing I was lousy at growing up, track and field. I could never anticipate the start before a race, but how about that backer? He figured it out, jumped the count, and turned it into a really nice play for his defense. 
Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Back to throw. Rich, he finds his man complete. That's Stanley. A loss of one, now a loss of two, and they're staring at a third and 13. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right, good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. So first and second down went the wrong direction. They'll try to do better here on third and 13. Looking to throw. Rich got a man. It's London. And he'll be brought down at the 28, and that is well short of the first. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. Doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened, they got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. 19, Tiger, 19, Tiger. <laughs> Throwing on first down. Goddard. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So now they'll come up on second and ten, once again from the 28. Throwing again. Goddard. Being chased. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. He'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. The Panthers on third down. They've been really good, converting seven of their ten tries. This will be third and 19. And this pass broken up. The contact well timed there, and now fourth down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And it will be Falcon football. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Throwing to start the drive. Rich. That's going to be caught by Pitts. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. So they move from 136 over to the other as they come up on first down. Operating from the gun, Rich. And he'll be brought down at the 27. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, 
quickly a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. On second down now, it's Stanley, and he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. On first and 10, Rich, that's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. To throw on second down. Rich, he finds his man complete. It's Stanley. Touchdown, Falcons! From 21 yards away. And the Falcons have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield in the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. Point after, right down the middle. And that gives him a three-point lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And the Falcons score to cap it off. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken in at the three. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Panthers offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. On first down, they'll start out with Singletary. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Back to throw. Goddard. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's more. Touchdown, Carolina! DJ Moore, his 104th career touchdown, one shy of Tim Brown on the all-time list. And the Panthers use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. So from three scores down, these guys have fought all the way back to grab the lead, and I'll just tell people what happened when they went up three scores. I wrote on your paper two words, game over, and now I'm eating those words. I, I was wrong. <laughs> a little salt, a little pepper yeah, goes hey, down pretty easily. I will admit when I make a mistake. Well, it looked like it was going that way. This is one of those paging Frank Reich moments, and I can't believe I just brought that up because Frank Reich at Maryland in college did it to my Tennessee Volunteers, oh. and that was a big reason why my team lost. Sounds like he still harbors some pain from that game. You know, we still got a little time to work it out with the doctor. <laughs> the Carolina kick team is out there ready to go and they kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And ultimately he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. So out come the Falcons now. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Throwing to start the drive. Rich buying time to his left. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. the middle they go Stanley and only able to get two here stopped at the 30 <laughs> on third down rich open man is Taylor he's got it and he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion 
And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. On first down, Rich. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air and defensively. They were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Stanley. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL. And he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time. So make sure you get in shape. Yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. The Falcons send out their punter as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. That'll be a 41-yard punt, four yards there on the return. And the Panthers will take over now first and ten. There's D.J. Moore as he and the rest of the offense head back out there. They might want to mix something up defensively because he's been shredding them a bit, hasn't he? That he has, and even with all the changes that you know are going on on the defensive side of the ball, he's still finding ways to get open, finding nowhere to go here. He lost the football, and the offense will cover this one up, but they'll be pushed back inside their own 10. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense gotten it, they were already within the shadow of the goalpost. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. Looking to throw. Goddard. And a most curious way there to burn some clock. That was wild. And at the end of all that, it winds up a safety. At this point, I think it's a surprise when he isn't close to being sacked on a passing down. The amount of times he's hit the deck today, I think a lot of us are reading safety before they even took the snap. Simply a merciless pass rush every step of the game. And that rush earns a crowning achievement there. After the safety, remember, they also need to give up the football, and here's the free kick. Taken from just outside the 30. Let's go, man, play football. Let's go. Good job, yo. Atlanta regains possession of the football. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Rich, he finds his man complete. That's Stanley. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. On second down, it's Stanley. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. From the gun on third down. Rich, and he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Andre Sisko. Well, this has been a bit of a tough game to figure out when it comes to him throwing the football. He's got the three touchdown passes, but now, Charles, this is a third interception. And those aren't really numbers that you'd like to see balance out. In a normal ledger sheet, if you can balance everything, you feel good about your day. But as a quarterback, 
You need your ratio to be more like three touchdown passes to one interception. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Goddard. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ball game. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational. CD, that is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. A give up the middle to Singletary. He will push his way down to about the 14. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Back to throw. Goddard. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Noah Fant with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Panthers will add to their fourth quarter lead. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors. But that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Extra point attempt to come here. And that makes it a nine-point game. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's Noah Fant who caps things off with the touchdown. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. Take it in at the three. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. And here now come the Falcons. And the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Looking to throw. Rich. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. London holds this one in. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Throw left side complete. That's Taylor. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Clock running, and the Falcons moving with a sense of urgency. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. From the gun on third down, Rich. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. First down now, but that clock rolling. Right back to Pitts again. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. 
He finds his man complete. It's Stanley. And he takes this one into the end zone. And all of a sudden, here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah, yeah you know. It doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> The extra point splits the uprights, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So still a small chance here with a little over 30 seconds to go, but they're definitely going to need this one to bounce their way. And this is going to be recovered by the hands team. And that should just about put a camper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And... I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. They'll run on first down with Singletary. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. As he'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Right back to Singletary on second down. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. On third down, they go with Singletary. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. And this third down looking very tough after the holding penalty. Third and long. They go right back to Singletary. And he gets this only to the 41. Not near enough for the first. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Singletary, they'll run for it. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. And the Panthers turned away on fourth down. And the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. He's back to throw. Flush to his right. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory, and now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead. That home field advantage, I think it helped fuel all of what happened for them down the stretch. A huge win. So for the Panthers, they're on a nice early roll as they move to three and one with a win here. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Buffalo Bills. Meanwhile, for the Falcons, they're gonna fall to three and one as they suffer their first loss. And they'll try to make amends next week as they host the New Orleans Saints. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.